Spacey Sims, and we are back with Moon Nord 9, still in Ron's route, of course, and we're still getting our happy ending? I mean, yeah, well, it's been a couple days since I played, <sighs> which is unfortunate, because I am actually having fun with this, I'm not going to lie, like, <laughs> I still hate Rod, but like, I still have fun with this route, I don't know, it's, it's a weird situation, but anyway, <clears throat> Huh? Uh, Kawari's power was stolen? Uh, that can't be. How is that possible? Uh, keep your voice down, hey. What would we do if Miss heard you say that? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Toya explained his involvement to us. He was born on this island. Of course, it was surprising to hear initially, but after the shock, things started to make much more sense thanks to that information. It helped explain why he was the one that the world was communicating with, and why he was so nonchalant when hearing about the reset. Shukuri immediately grabbed a hold of Toya and was about to start a brawl. Fortunately, cooler heads immediately prevailed. We all knew that there was no point fighting each other at that moment. So, isn't it, like, super terrible that we got a power stolen from us? Ion said that in order to perform the reset, we need to have all the Esper powers, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, plus, the stolen power is the power of fire, which is needed to destroy civilization. To think a cute girl like Koharu was meant to do that sort of thing. Koharu and the power that she was given have no connection to each other. That's true. It's not like she got the power of fire because that's what she asked for. How's Koharu doing? She's finally down. She basically cried herself to sleep. Yet she should be happy. I, you know what? I don't think she's like crying because she's sad she lost her power. It's probably more like, I failed everyone. It's all my fault. <laughs> God damn it. Stop it. It's not your fault. Ron's an asshole, but apparently I love him anyway. I don't know. Whatever. Do we have any new information? Yes. There's a suspicious airship floating around in the sky above this island. We're operating under the assumption that it's the enemy's ship. Enemies? They went through the trouble of coming all the way out here. Up until this point, I'd assumed that they were thugs who wanted to use our powers for their own gain. But that doesn't seem accurate now. I wonder if their goals are linked to the reset. Uh, raiders are opposed to the reset, yes. I don't really know the specifics, but what I do know is that their intent is to prevent the reset. And to take our lives. That's, like, wrong. We could give our powers back to Ion and not do the reset, and they don't have to kill us. Jesus. Jesus, Natsuhiko! What the fuck? That's rude. Stop, man. Anyway. Uh, our lives. And they want to kill us all? Is that really so surprising? If it wasn't for Makoto, this journey would have ended and we'd be starting on our journey to heaven. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't be on that journey, Yuiga. Did you say something? I've been having some trouble with my hearing recently. Psh. There's no way you didn't hear that. Well, this reset is kind of a big deal. It makes sense that there are people who don't really want to start from scratch. If someone would have told me about this without giving me all the details, I'm not so sure I wouldn't be on their side. That man was the one who ordered the attack, and we now know that Ron was on his side. Uh, but why would a man like that know the name of my father? Huh? Kakeru, what's the matter? Uh, no, it's nothing. Our biggest problem now is what to do about the power of fire. It's a big blow to us that of all the powers, that's the one that was stolen. Uh, to put it bluntly, I've got no chance in a fight against that. Makoto is out of commission. The only thing left to combat it would be the power of water. Water? Ion said it existed. Uh, during the reset, water heals the scarred earth and the plants revitalize it. Uh, there has to be a water esper among us. A fight fire with water, huh? Well, maybe we do stand a chance. We've come all this way. Our ship crashed. We found the traitor. And we're still hiding our powers. Isn't that ridiculous at this point? Uh, Sukuya isn't here. Maybe it's him. Anyway, let's go to Ion's place again tomorrow. This is a choice that'll affect the fate of the entire world. True. Well said. We can't consider anywhere to be safe anymore. And nobody go anywhere on your own, okay? I 
I wonder if that man knew that this was going to happen. I can't help but wonder if that's the reason he said those words to me. He asked me to erase his memories. He said it was the correct way to use my power. It feels as though he was telling me to decide the outcome of this moment as well. Miss Macy, you're going to get sick if you just stay out in the breeze. It's a breeze, for fuck's sake, Jesus. Not a delicate flower. Am I? Maybe I am. I don't know. Yeah. For a second, I got confused because this came up and I didn't realize it was like a flashback thing. And I was like, why is she kissing Itsuki? <laughs> I just saw the kiss thing happen. I was like, whoa. It took like half a second for I was like, whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeez. I got to pay more attention. Anyway. Please, just don't hurt anyone anymore. Just stop doing bad things. Please. I like these hands. I like these kind and gentle hands. Please don't dirty them anymore. <laughs> You're such a stupid girl. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that's not so he's I was like, I, for a second, I'm like, did he just magically show that we flashed back, but then we're on him. He's the one. For okay. Ron, where did you go? Oh, okay, it was Setsu that was saying that. I thought it was Nantiko, anyway. Oh, there you are. Hey, Ron. Uh, keep... Keep what we did just now a secret from Natsuhiko, all right? If he knows we went to the island by ourselves, he'd fill us all full of bullet holes. I know, I know. Yeah, you two. Where have you been this whole time? Oh, well, uh, we went into town for a bit. We went to the island. Oh, wait, Ron... You went to the island. What were you thinking? Hmm, I wonder. I just love how Ron's quit. <laughs> fucking, fucking Ron. Everything. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> For fuck's sake, that's so aggravating, but it's kind of funny. He says it to everyone. Not to Higo. What were you doing? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Ron, uh, um, so, as you can clearly see, Natsuhiko, Ron wasn't doing anything sneaky or anything. Fine. I guess I'll hear your final excuse. Uh, he pulled the gun out! I knew this was gonna happen. Please, j just calm down! You see, Ron was on that ship the entire time. The only reason we're in this position now is because of him. Surely you can forgive him for having a little fun, right? If he just killed that Kuga girl, all the espers... Oh, wait, 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 I'm saying that's supposed to be not... I really wish somebody would... You already know that Natsuhiko's name is Natsuhiko. Could we just not have the question marks? Because I'm getting confused as to now who's talking when we have question marks and question marks. Anyway, I'm assuming this is Natsuhiko then. If he just killed that Kuga girl, all of the espers would be dead by now. But Ron's in a danger. Oh, wait. Wait, so wait, is this Setsu now? But Ron's in a dangerous situation too, right? He's got to stay with a girl that can erase all his memories. Then he should have killed her, too. All our problems would be solved. I mean, even though this is Ron we're talking about, surely it wouldn't have been that easy. Seriously, can we just put a names? This is getting so confusing. And you're right. I could have killed them all that easily. Damn it, Ron! I'm trying to back you up, but you're just ruining everything I say! Don't tell me that you actually fell in love with her or something. Oh, just wait. Just wait till you... Oh, 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 this is good. This is good. I like this. Not to he go over there. Oh, God, look what you fell in love with her. Psh, you were supposed to kidnap and kill her. God. And then he's going to do the same thing for Makoto. And that's just... I just find that somehow beautiful and hilarious. So, psh, Ron, you're such a loser falling in love with her. Hey, Makoto, what's up? Girl. Yeah, you fine. You know. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you just wait, buddy. going to make you fall for me hard. I'll give you what you asked for. I'm going to repay you for the eye you gave me. Oh, good. Now we finally have Natsuhiko's name on there. Jesus. I'll say this. That replacement eye was made in exchange for the deaths of the espers and to prevent that damn reset from happening. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. Uh -huh. 
We're taking this road again. It's so bright. So tough to walk. What happened to Serata? He's with Makoto and Sakuya. Apparently, Ion, Ion told him to stay there. Ion, eh? Speaking of Serata, he went out somewhere last night. It appears that he and Ion were talking. Hmm. I can't imagine what he would talk about with that little girl. If that's even what I should be calling her. And maybe she actually believes that Serata is from a different time period. None of us thought he was telling the truth, but if Ion, the world, believes it, then it's probably true. Koharu, are you okay? Spacey! I'm sorry! I did something terrible! I don't cry, Koharu. This wasn't your fault. You did nothing wrong. But... It's okay. I'll do something about it. Decision? About what? Are I on security measures working all right? Someone snuck in last, last night. There are no weapons on the island. The only form of protection we have here is a barrier that surrounds it. Uh, but the barrier isn't very useful, as Ron waltzing past it shows. If we're talking about a normal human, they wouldn't be able to enter the island, much less find it. But the raiders were up against their scientists. They probably found a way to unlock the barrier. We're basically riddled with vulnerabilities. We're almost at our breaking point here. Ion and even the island, for that matter. Speaking of which, she said something a long time ago. Something about only humans being able to destroy her. Well, that's obvious. The only thing they could ho hope to destroy her would be humans. It's not like there's another species out there that would pose a threat, right? The fact that you're not instantly denying that makes me worry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. The only ones who could try and destroy Ion would be humans. Which is why it's such an odd thing for Ion to say. It's an obvious statement. But there aren't any weapons in this era that could pierce Ion's unique armor. Even with the guns that the raiders have, it'd be impossible. Yeah, but they're scientists and she's a machine. And like... You know what? It's literally taking people that have 1919 brains and putting them in like 2019 and being like, But you just... All you have to do is push the off button on the computer and they're like, The what? Ah! I mean, they don't even know what guns are, so you're like, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying Natsuhiko knows how to push a fucking button and turn a computer off. <laughs> Pull the plug. <laughs> Type some code in. I'm just assuming. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then let's just focus on our safety for now. Uh, that's a good idea. We never figured out who the Water Esper was, so how are we going to deal with their guns and the power of fire? Sorry, I'm late. This is interesting. Have you come to destroy Ion? Unfortunately, no. Over the past decade, I've developed all sorts of weapons, and I haven't found one that can destroy Ion. He looks so sad! Look at his face! He's so wistfully sad, like, I have yet to find a weapon that can destroy her. That's just not... That is like the I'm pining away for something, like, face, not the I'm trying to destroy something face. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh, God. Unfortunately for you, however, I've realized that killing all of the espers is a great war workaround. <clears throat> Wait, we haven't even decided if we wanted to go through with the reset or not. I don't care about your little decisions. And no matter what, the powers you espers have are dangerous. If he gets a hold of them, we're going to have a way bigger have way bigger problems than the reset. I'm thinking you're Oh! You're talking about Kakeru's dad, so he's gonna show up. It's gonna be this like tribunal of like it Oh! I love this! Oh, it's a fight triangle! Oh! The drama. He Unfortunately, the Kuga girl's not here. That'll make things easier. I'll kill you all first. <laughs> no, he looks blissfully, gleefully happy about killing people. <laughs> I love him, he's fucking insane. Like, he's just like, oh, sadly pine away look on his face about not having weapons to kill Ion. And then he's like, I'm gonna kill all of you. Look at his face. Oh, God. Look,
look, can we just put a keto next to him so it's just like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life? Like Masamune's face says it all. He's like, the fuck are you so happy about, you psycho? And that's who he go, put your gun down. What are you going on about, Ron? God damn it, Ron! Let Hermione and I deal with this. <sighs> Sorry. Look, you know a Harry Potter joke was going to have to come up eventually with somebody named Ron, for fuck's sake. Anyway. And there's no need to kill them anymore, right? Muraboshi slowly placed his hand on Natsuhiko's gun and lowered it. Oh, we just need to destroy the machine, right? Ooh. Knew he was going to do it. This fire... So, this girl is a weapon that nobody can destroy, right? I wonder what's stronger, her or the fire that's supposed to destroy all of civilization? I mean, if you think about it, fire is supposed to destroy all of civilization, which means all the buildings, all the machines, all everything, which 1919 doesn't happen, have any, but at some point in 2060, think of all the technology we had. That had to destroy it. So he's not wrong. Sorry. There's no need to apologize. If I was created by humans, it is only fitting that I be destroyed by humans. I see. Glad to hear that. Ion! It is kind of sad, though. Like, he's going to destroy... Oh, no! You feel bad. You're like, I know she's only a machine, but, like... She's still, like, a living thing. Uh... Oh! Wait, but she's not. But she is. But, ah! It's that artificial intelligence line, right? Run! Why do you have the power of fire? Voila! Now nobody can perform a reset. But if I don't kill the espers, and then our contract is still broken, right? So I'll just get rid of this too. <gasps> is he going to pop out his eyeball? Muraboshi touched his right eye. A purple light shone between his fingers. Is he going to go blind now? It was just an instant. He never looked at me until now. But at that moment, he reflected my appearance off his purple eyes. His, he only has one purple eye, though. I. I regret this, but only because you're here. Oh. Ow. Now he's only one-eyed. Mraboshi! Mraboshi removed his artificial eye and tossed it into the sea of flames. <gasps> Ow, motherfucker! Okay, Ron's got some balls, cause like that's him. Uh, that hurts me, and it's not even my eye. Ow. Okay, I literally went to do something the other day, and I l my thumb jammed into the corner of my eye. Not a little bit, like, but like oh, I think I poked my eye out, and it hurt like a motherfucker. So I can't imagine like prying my eye out, artificial or not. That's connected, and there's nerve. And oh god, this makes us even. I owe you nothing now. You. Not so he go. It's dangerous here. Ooh, we should get out of here. Hey, underling, you take care of the rest. This is gonna be a real pain in the butt for me, you know. Run. Well then. <laughs> I don't know how to, like, Ion disappeared. Did she die? Uh, Ion. Yeah, it's water. But where's it coming from? One of you, idiot. Jesus. <gasps> Senri, you're the water esper. I mean, shouldn't they have suspected that? First of all, he's got a mermaid fishtail on his face, is all I'm saying. And also, he swims in the fucking lake all the time. <laughs> Senri... Stop. You're gonna burst a blood vessel. <gasps> this place isn't gonna hold for much longer. We need to get out of here. I think we're far enough away to be safe. <gasps> that actually hurts my neck really badly. I don't know why. I jerked it the wrong way when I was panting and heaving, and now it hurts. It's Henry! Are you okay? Masa, 
And there are people that live on the island too, right? If we can't stop this fire, the whole thing's gonna burn up. Oh, we've gotta call for help. Yeah, and Suki, Heishi, come with me. Y yeah. I knew it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't help that person. I have no use to anyone. Senri, oh, the result doesn't matter. Oh, what you did back there was commendable. I'm proud of you for sure showing courage and daring to battle such a huge blaze. Kikiru! Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Spacey! Where are you going? Spacey! N no! Don't! Koharu... You shouldn't! You shouldn't go! Koharu... He's waiting for me. Spacey! I'm the only one who can end this. That's what he wants, too. For this to end. You're gonna take away his memories. And then it's so sad, because he's not gonna be able to see, because he only has one eye now, and the other one's not good. <laughs> I gotta feel... Okay, why do I feel bad for Ron? God damn it, this route! Look, don't hesitate to use your powers for the right thing. Don't think about what's gonna happen to the bad guys. You should walk your own path. I wonder. <laughs> what are you thinking? After she wipes the memory. I wonder. God damn it, you always say that. No, I mean seriously, I wonder. I have nothing. I've got nothing in my brain right now. Hey. I made up my mind. Is that so? That's good. I think... I think I've decided that I hate you. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Because I like you. And that's a problem for me. Wait, this is our happy ending? I hate you. So much for my happy ending. Quite literally. I know we've said that before, but fuck. You're still debating. No. Your hands are trembling. I don't know anything about your past. I don't know where you were born and raised. I don't know your parents' names. I don't know anything about you. You don't have to know. Is any of that really important? If I erased it, then it'll never be known again. That's okay. I don't need the past. If you don't do it now, then I'm going to kill everyone with this power. You're the worst. I'm pushing you. And this is your final chance to stop me and save everyone. Yeah, but he's still going to have this power. So, like, how are you getting rid of it now? Final. He's just doing what he wants until the end. He's willing to stomp on my heart and kill everyone so that he gets his own wish. He is, and always will be, the worst. I would be accepting that kind of person. I would be granting their wishes. I'll use my powers to protect people. I'm full of doubts. Is this truly the right choice? The only choice? Or was there another path to take? If someone smarter were in my position, Maybe they could have found a better solution. I struggled and lost myself many times. Even on my way here, I thought I should just turn around and even stopped in my tracks. But no matter what other answers are out there, there uh, this is the decision that I've made. I'll spend the rest of my life dealing with it. I'm sorry to make you do this. Do you really hate me now? I do. <laughs> this is really what you want me to do? He's gonna forget her, too. Yeah. I can finally just choose you. It's actually kind of romantic. God damn it! What is wrong with me? I knew this was gonna happen. We said it in the beginning, didn't I? I will come to love you once more. Do you not want to live, or do you not want to die? That's what he... Okay. Let's answer that question again. I don't want to die. I don't want to live. I... I... want to live on with you. 
Let's start over, the two of us. And maybe this time, I can love you from beginning to end. I was like, legit, that would have been the best and worst fucking way to end that if it just ended there. It would have been like, that is so great! Like, what? But I would have been so mad. I would have been like, oh! It's one of those ends where it just ends and you're like, no! The fuck? Where's the wrap up? But at the same time, you're like, oh, I love that you did that to me, but I also hate you for it. Anyway. Why is the earth so freaking vast. I want to move. I want to live in a world that's just eight to Tommy Matt's long. I didn't say anything yet. Why do you look so scared already? It's b because you didn't say anything yet. Usually you'd say welcome or greet me in some way. Welcome. And he told me to check up on you guys and see how you're doing. Can I come in for a little bit? If not, then I'll just leave. I don't want to intrude. I didn't say you were intruding. Come in. Oh, what is this liquid? It's just water. Phew, great. Then I'll have some... Go, oh, chug. Go, oh, go, oh, go. Oh. Is everybody still angry? Yes. Oh, Tomorrow and I are the only ones who don't care about what happened. It seems like Otomaru is always talking to you, uh, but doesn't it get a little annoying? A bit. I'll let him know then. Guess he's talking to us in his head. And Otomaru is like, loves fucking everyone, so we're not surprised. Is everyone doing well? Yes, everything's pretty much the same. They're all worried about you, though. Here's some snacks from Shikori. Oh! Our precious little baby! He made us snacks! I love him so much! Okay. Alright. I know we're in Ron's route, and I got to the point where I'm like, I actually don't hate Ron. I hate Ron, but I don't hate Ron, and I don't know how to feel about that. But then the second you're like, look, Akito made you snacks. Oh! oh! You can't take my... No one can take his place in my heart. I love him so much. <laughs> I am so attached to that stupid motherfucker. Jesus. From Shikori? Is there anything weird in it? Shikori never puts anything weird in his cooking. Unlike, say, you or Otomaru. Er, I'm just kidding. Don't look at me with that expressionless face. This is the same face I always make. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, yeah. Koharu and Kuga said they both wanted to see you. I want to see them, too. And they also said that they didn't want to see Muraboshi, so they can't visit. Oh, Tomorrow and Kagami both say that they want to see you sometime, too. Kagami is especially worried about how you're handling certain things. Certain things? I'm not sure what he's talking about. Were we talking about Itsuki? Certain things. How are you? handling certain things. Jesus Christ! Don't talk to me about this! You just know what he's talking about! It's Itsuki. You're like, he's certain th Oh! Get your get your mind out of other people's pants, Itsuki. Jesus! Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Anyway. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Anyway, everybody says they're gonna head somewhere close by, so they want you to join them. Okay. I understand. Everyone hates him. They have every right to, though. You may have heard this from that loudmouth Otomaru the other day. Uh, but the Norn has been repaired. Uh, oh, yeah. Apparently the name of the ship we were on is the Norn. Which is funny that you don't figure... Th I mean, I'm pretty sure that was like... Did they say that ever before in the game? Or it was just an assumption, but like... In 9, because it's supposed to be 9 espers. But it's just funny because it's like... Oh, that by the way... Now that you've gotten through the entire game, that's where we got the title for it from. Oh, okay. I don't know if I don't know if I just knew that because maybe I read it somewhere or it was in the game before and I forgot, but it just seems funny. Anyway. Oh, we were never able to return our powers to Ion. And so we decided that the next best thing would be to carry out her wishes. 
What do you mean? She wanted there to be peace in the world. So we espers will just use our powers to keep peace, just like she intended us to. Will you come with us? I won't. I figured you'd say that. But they told me that I had to ask. Also, I can only erase people's memories, which would be good if you could erase people fighting and like hating each other. You're like, whoop. What? You don't hate each other, remember? You're best friends. Right! Because you f they forget why they're fighting. That would be good. But you'd have to take Ron. So. Koharu and Kuga will probably ask you the same thing when they see you. Yeah. Are you going to go? Yeah, I will. I don't think it's a bad plan. A person who hated making the journey on board the ship as much as I did was now telling me that they won't mind returning to the ship. What's wrong? We're planning to go on a journey as well someday. A journey? He never remembers anyone's name. I thought it was because he didn't care about other people. But in actuality, it's because his eyesight was getting worse. He'll go blind soon, so we're going to go and have his friend make him an artificial eye. His friend? You mean the raider? Yes. I don't know the outside world too well, and I can't rely on him for anything. So our chances of finding him are slim. But I still plan on going. Then you should talk to Toya. He's also looking for him. Okay, thanks. Well then, my job here's done. I'll be heading out now. Won't you come see him? It's alright. He doesn't remember me. So seeing him is kind of pointless. <laughs> you should have told me that he was here already! So you're back on your feet already. Yeah. Who is he? Oh, was this guy living in this house too? Even though he's lost his memories, there's really no practical difference as far as I can tell. He might be right. Well then, I'm going now. Okay, thanks for stopping by. You don't have to thank me. I was just checking in. I didn't do anything for you. No, you've given me courage. Oh yeah, speaking of which, they made me promise to ask you one last thing. What is it? Shiranoi, are you... Oh, is that just now? Here's the thing. We erased his memory, so they should be like... But I guess they can't get over there. It's like, we hate you! And he's like, what did I do? And they're like, all these awful things! He's like, I don't really remember. <laughs> you almost... They almost make you feel bad for Ron. They make you feel bad for Ron. I almost feel bad for him. I'm trying very hard to be like, he deserves it. But it's like, the. but he doesn't remember anything. So it's like, but that's not going to stop you from hating someone. Someone does something awful to you and then their memory gets erased. You're like, it's hard for me to accept that and not hate you for the awful things that you did. But at the same time, you don't remember doing those awful things. So is, should I still hate you for it? Like you're a, different person technically now than you and like that's hard that's a hard place to be in man so kind of get why they still hate him but so i but i feel bad for him because he's like everybody hates me and i don't know why <laughs> well we're not gonna tell you why you'd have to erase your memory again a friend a friend oh, what is that again a person that you get along with so like you and me we're different what was it again like, he just... Okay, could you have just taken his memories and not, like, made him completely stupid? He's Koharu now, and that's gonna be weird. I already told the answer to this. Told you the answer to this. I want to hear it again. We're... Lovers. Lovers. It's two people who love each other and stick together with one another. <laughs> After he's like, so you my lover now? No. Now, now we are. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Love. Oh, what's that? You definitely remember that. Come on, please tell me. You're the one who told me that studying and um, reviewing things was important, Spacey. We have this conversation every day. Spacey. Tell me. <laughs> like he's still being kind of manipulative. It's great. Oh, God. I wrap my arms around Murtoboshi's back. His wide back. I open my arms as wide and embrace him. This is... love. I see. I understand now. 
Are you okay? Uh, I don't fully understand yet. Friends don't do this type of stuff. No, friends definitely do not. And then I'm the only one. I'm the only one who gets to feel the warmth of your body like this. You're the only one. Spacey, I love you. Spacey. You don't have to say my name so much. I understand. Moriboshi has been making a habit of calling me by my name. He seems to enjoy saying my name a lot. Well, you just seemed happier whenever I called you by your name. Tch. I want to touch you a little longer. Should we move to the bed? Whoa, damn. Don't say weird things. It's still daytime. There is nothing wrong with a little afternoon delight, girlfriend. Hmm. It'd be nice to be able to see everything. Pervert. That's mean. Plus, it's almost time to eat. I have to start cooking. I'll help. Your cooking is terrible. Huh. Not wrong. I'll use the knife, so don't touch it. Okay. What do you want to eat? Spacey. Something you can eat. You're something I can eat too, Spacey. <laughs> wow, Ron, damn! High five for that, that's hilarious. Oh, God, I hate him and I love him at the same time. Fuck my life, God. And then I'll make my specialty, meat surprise with special herbs. Oh, I learned how to make meat and potato stew. How do you learn new recipes so quickly? Because my life depends on it. <laughs> Such a fucking smart ass, I kinda love it. But the first thing I remembered was your name. Ron, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. Sharana, we are you are you happy now? Yes, I'm happy. Perhaps due to food coma, he immediately laid his head on the table once we finished eating. Food coma, I think you killed him. Ron, you'll turn into a cow if you keep sleeping after big meals. <sighs> well, my hunger has been satisfied, so I need to move on to the next of my needs. It's wrong. You know what? Should not have expected he would drastically change. Um, but if you'll help me with my third priority need, I won't complain. Whether or not he has any memories, he hasn't changed. He's just a fleshy mass of desires. You should study to become a priest or a monk. Huh? Why? Never mind. I head into the kitchen to begin washing all the dishes and cleaning up after the meal. Almost immediately, I hear snoring noises. I mean, that would have been a bad time, because he would have just passed out on you. I walk to the front of our shelves. I put my hands on the bottom drawer. This is, the, this is only the second time I've touched this drawer since we started living in this house. The only other time was the day that we moved in. I haven't opened it since. A heavy object falls into my hands. Why are guns so heavy even though they're small enough to fit into even my hand? I figured I would just throw the gun away along with the rest of Ron's past. But I changed my mind. Ron still has the power of fire. They know I erased all of Ron's memories, so they gave us some leeway. But they're watching us closely. The people I refer to are the scientists from the island who are trying to act as the world now. I've taken on responsibility now, because I was the one who erased Ron's memories. Because I was the one who begged for his life. If he were ever to use his powers to hurt other people again, if I didn't erase the darkness in his heart, I have to take responsibility. That's why I kept this gun. We're living peacefully now. Ron makes happy and peaceful expressions more often than he did before. I'm constantly anxious, though, because I enjoy these happy days, and I don't want them to end. I hope the day I'm forced to pull the trigger never comes. That was my most heartfelt wish. But he pissed me off one too many times insulting my cooking, and now he's gotta die. <laughs> Spacey, what are you doing over there? I hurriedly hid the gun. I didn't want him to see it. 
His memories had been completely erased. His dark past should be gone for good. If his past was the roots of his wickedness, then he should have nothing to worry about. But if his behavior and his past were just an extension of the person he truly was, then all the atrociousness, sadism, desperation, and rage, then those will all gradually return. Then my actions and Ron's wishes were all for nothing. I worried that all of this... I worried that all of his terrible qualities would awaken if he saw the gun. He could see the gun and not change at all. I suppose that would indicate that he really had changed, and all those traits were gone. Even if I wouldn't uh, be certain that everything would definitely be alright now, it would still give me a lot of relief. But now, I couldn't make that leap. I had struggled for a long time, trying to decide whether or not to show him the gun. Oh, what's wrong? Does your stomach hurt? No. Suddenly, something that Ron said to me long ago popped into my head. He'd said that since I'd been constantly hurt by people, I couldn't trust anyone. That's probably accurate. I always seem to find the negative angle, and I'm always living in fear of the worst. But things are different now. I'm not the same as before. I'm using responsibility as an excuse. But I'm just too afraid to trust Ron. It'll never work this way. I have to change, too. I need to change to show that I believe in our future together. I picked up the gun that I had put away. Ron, I want you to see something. What? I handed him the gun. Oh, what is this? It's a terrible weapon used to hurt people. Oh. Ron, do you like it? Do you want it? Nope, not really. Really? If you want me to hold on to it, I, I guess I will, though. No, it's okay. So, it's totally unnecessary to you. I asked in order to confirm what he said. Ron smiled at me. You're right. I don't want to hold anything dangerous. I don't want to take a chance of you getting hurt. Thanks. A warm feeling fills my heart. I can finally just choose you. The words he said were sincere. I think he, who wanted his memories erased, was the one who trusted himself the least out of everyone. He couldn't even imagine himself living in a peaceful, happy futures. That's why he traded his memories for it. I have to believe in Ron, even if nobody else, including he himself, does. Even if it's only me, I have to... I embraced Ron. Maybe it's like you said. Maybe I should study to become a priest or a monk. Why? It's not enough. You're by my side and you love me, but I can't help but want more. I love you so much that I might end up harming you. Yeah, you're right. You should. I kind of want to see you bald. Really? I I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. In his current mental state, Ron is very susceptible to whatever I say. I have to be watchful of what I say to him. I doubt that it's not enough, though. Because you're more special to me than anyone, and I love you more than anything else. Except for Akito. Ahem! You don't have to worry about anything. I see. Okay, then. Off to bed. However, logic, moderation, and patience are also very important. Why do you have to say such difficult things? They're not difficult things. They're all very obvious, necessary things. Fine, so... I'll wait until night, then. Sometimes, you just have to get your kicks off in the middle of the day for funsies sake. You know what? Not always a perfect time. N night. Uh, I'll allow up to two kisses. Stupid. Why? It's still a while until night. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. We're moving forward. Forward towards a bright future. Our feet are still dirty, and we're tracking dirt across the white road. But someday soon, we'll come to love the tracks that we made here today. That's what we're moving toward. That's the future that we're working for. It's gonna go so okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the ending, necessarily. You know, like, we fr he re erased his memory, and he knows nothing now, and he's just an empty shell, and you hope he's Ron, but he's not really... But... I'm not gonna lie, I didn't hate that fucking round. 
Uh, I really didn't. Um, I don't love Ron. It's not like I changed my mind, but I enjoyed the route. I really did. So, um, we got a. Oh, that's true because we've got one for we have the tragic love ending, and then we have the bad ending, and then we have the after story stuff, which I keep forgetting. And we've got to do all of those. Um. So that'll be funsies. That's what we'll obviously after Natsuhika, we'll go through all of those. And we'll turn the voice acting on for those. Um, so. And then the girls are voice acted too. So I don't know. I'll have to decide unless you guys leave comments or whatever. Um, if you want, I mean, we'll definitely turn the guys voice acting on. I don't know if we, I can't remember if, I think you can turn each character individually on or off. I don't know if we should turn the ladies off and I'll just read those like we would normally because normally the girls aren't voice acted um but we'll definitely do those after scene things with our men folk voice acted just to see how tragically awful my voice acting was <laughs> Akito's gonna be the hardest one for me I'm gonna be like it's really weird without the accent <laughs> anyway um But, uh, yeah. Obviously, that's after Natsuhiko, but I'm giving you time now because, you know. Like, how lecherous it is with these, like, licking his lips, like, yeah. I mean, you're just like, I hate you, Run, but I. But the route was kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. He's an asshole, but I didn't. I did enjoy it. Like, I, I just, again, I feel like this is just one of those times where the asshole was written really well. Like,. I don't, like, again, it's not, like, the my st typical standard Van Helsing where you're like, you're such a dick, but I love you. It's more like, I fucking hate you. You know what? You're kind of funny. <gasps> but I hate you. It's a weird situation that you don't often find yourself in, in games. Um, but I actually did enjoy, like, this prop. It's just, I don't know. He's seriously a twat, though. But, like, a, a great one. Just, like... Such a well-written douche hole. I mean, I suppose... And, sure, I think you can touch and then they talk in the thing. But, like, I'm not probably gonna go back and, like, listen to all of that in the uh, CGs. Maybe, if I think about it. I don't know. We'll see. That actually might be bad after we... Not be bad, like, after we do the after scenario and then come back in with the voice acting on and do all the little touchy points. Sure, why not? We'll try that. And now we're back to the beginning. Um, like... This, this one is the most douche-tastic run. It really is. But this one's actually, like, not bad. Because it's like, okay, you get the whole douche factor on with the open shirt and the sunglasses. But he's actually almost being nice. So it's really complicated. You're like, I don't... Wait. Every time he had a nice moment, it really did throw me off. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But Anyway, so I will wrap this part up here. When we come back in the next part, we will do the tragic love ending and the bad ending. So we'll probably do both of them in one part. So that one will probably be more of a long, along the lines of a normal length part. Um, and see the other two CGs that we're missing out on. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.